Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, basically, I'm just reviewing coins and bullion coins that uh, that I'm collecting for no other reason than for fun. Uh, so, some of the things that I collect, you might deem as being a little bit junky, but if my kids like it, then you know, it's got a nice picture or or whatever, I'll, I will get it. Or if it means something in a sentimental way to myself, then I'll get it. It's not just about the monetary value of things, although I am ultimately collecting the silver bullion so that in 20 years' time or whatever, when I come to retire, that I'll, I'll hopefully have something behind me that, uh, that I can cash in and uh, have a slightly better life. Than what I would if I didn't do it. So, uh, without further ado, these are a couple of the coins that I've just had recently. So, we've got a Steamboat Willie and a Philharmonic. So, we'll start with the, the uh, Steamboat Willie, the, uh, the Mickey Mouse one. And as you can see at the bottom, it's a genuine Disney article. So Disney obviously gave the rights to the Mint to um, to produce these. It's got the New Zealand stars there and uh, NZM, New Zealand Mint. Now I love this. I'm going to... I'm going to try and get a few more of these just because I really love it. I love the design. I think it just makes it gives it a little bit of fun. Um, I've got four kids of different ages um, from 18 down to three. And they all like a different thing from the coin. They all like the coins. Um, but there's some there's a coin that they all like individually. Now, this one, the moment my three year old saw this. In fact, the moment my 10-year-old <laughs> saw this as well, or my 11-year-old, not 10, she's, she's 11 now, um, they love this. Absolutely thought it was fantastic. And I love it as well. So I I'm going to probably get another one of these, just or another few of these, just because they look so beautiful. Um, I love the lines. I love the, the detail. It's just a beautiful coin. I love the way it reflects... I love the fact that it's a genuine Disney product, or on behalf of a, a genuine Disney product. So there she is, Her Majesty the Queen, Elizabeth II. This is this year's coin, so it's a $2 New Zealand 2017 triple nine silver coin so that's that bad boy we'll stick that there and then we've got this philharmonic the reason why i've got the philharmonic is um one it, it is a beautiful coin again uh, my dad was a musician so i come from quite a musical background although I don't play anything myself, but uh, a lot of my family play different instruments. My dad was a clarinetist. Um, so yeah, we've got we've got all sorts. We've got violins, harp, cello, French horn, bassoon, all sorts of different instruments there. Um, the only one out of those that my dad would have played would would be the French horn, possibly. Because uh, he was a wind instrument type person, played the clarinet, but he also played trumpet, trombone, uh, all sorts of things, keyboard. Um, and there we go. Republic of Austria. One and a half euros. One euro fifty. 
this was from 2013 If you look at the top of those that building or gates or whatever they are, it looks like there's two people lying on there. <laughs> I don't know if that's meant to be how it is, but uh, looks really cool. Okay, <clears throat> so. Only two one ounce that I've had recently. Then we've got this as well, which I'm going to bring along. So we'll take these off. Now I won these on an eBay site. And let's see if we can get. I'm just going to get the bits out in the box. Before we go into detail with the coins, I'll show you what they came with. I'll just move it. Bring that back a little bit. That's it. Right, so we've got one. One of the coins, which is that one there. Basically, it's a farewell to the penny. I can't speak French, but that I think says "Adieu à la pince de le de un cent," something like that. Anyway, at least I had a go. <laughs> uh, this is from the Royal Canadian Mint. So, from what I can gather, uh, Canada don't use a one cent anymore, and that was that was basically what the one cent looked like. So they've made a silver one, just to commemorate, and this is a certificate of authenticity. It tells you, it tells you that the story behind uh, how it's designed, etc. Uh, it's a twenty-dollar coin. It tells you it's the, the weight is 7.96 grams, 99.99 pure silver, and it was limited to 250,000 coins worldwide. Worldwide, got serrated edge. Base value is $20, and the artists were uh, Jesse Corrick for the reverse, and Susanna Blunt for the obverse. It just tells you about the collections and the fact that this is of authenticity that's what the scent used to look like I'm sure I've got one of them somewhere um, and then it has it in French because as most people know in Canada their two languages are English and French so everything's split between the two so we'll have a little look at that coin Take it out of its flip if we can. Can we take it out of the flip? We can take it out of the flip. Okay, so as you can see, it's a $20 coin. It's got a couple of maple leaves which look like they're. They've just dropped into a little pond. So the year there of 2012. Tells you it's from Canada. And it's fine silver. 999. It's got the artist's information there. So their little signature or initials. And then there's Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. Beautiful coin. 
Now we'll check the other coin, and this one's this one's a little bit quirky. This coin that I'm going to show you next. So this one is another twenty dollar nine 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 silver. This is from 2012, uh, 2011, So this is the year before, and it shows a boy putting his hand in the water as he's on a kayak on a lake. Just move this out of it so you can see the whole thing. Now, one thing you might have noticed is um, when you look at it, you've got a boy putting his hand in the lake and he's got a reflection. And if you look at the shape of the kayak, it's a different shape. It's got a Native American with his oar. How clever is that? It's not until you really, really look at it that you notice that it's got um, a, a different uh, reflection. Really, really clever. I love that. This is possibly one of my my favourite designs uh, out of my coins. Um, I've got quite a lot of favourites, but uh, this this is this is up there with with the best of them. And I love the way they uh, have done the picture. And it's an actual photo, and it and it sort of continues. The whole thing is really really nice. Um, so then we've got the certificate of authenticity. That tells you about the coin. That it's a twenty dollar pure silver commemorative coin. It says this design shows a young person enjoying a recreational outing as he dips his hand in the water. It touches the past, and the reflection reveals an early native paddler in a traditional birch bark canoe as it appears on the early silver dollars in 1935 so how cool is that um, it tells you a little bit about the the artist and I'm going to read that it tells you the specification here so it's 999 silver 9.96 grams that's 20 20 dollars uh, There's the actual original artist drawing. Sorry about the reflection there. Huh. Reflection. Um, and French people, there you go. You can read it in French too. So that's nice. Let's have a little look at the coin itself. without wrecking it, I don't know if I can. Right, we'll start with this side since that side came out first. There we go, we've got the Queen. I reckon the Queen must be on more silver and gold bullion than than anybody else, any other one person. Except for maybe a Kruger. Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh, it's the right, it's the right one. There you go. So, there we go. We've got two reflections. Stunning, stunning coin. I'll turn it around. <laughs> it's just so cool. Really love that. So, that concludes my silver bullion collection the moment.
please subscribe and we'll see you next time on my channel and hopefully I'll have some more coins uh, silver bullion I've just started collecting sort of lots of lots of bits and bobs so hope you enjoyed please subscribe see you next time bye